She has a long commute on the metro from West LA to Long Beach, so LA native Mariana Macari doesn't want to add her frustrations by seeing election content on social media. It's negatively impacted my mental health in many ways, so I honestly just start try to stay away from all social media. She's not alone. Across town in Hollywood, 26-year-old voter Netta Anvar tries to remain objective when she's online. Just being mindful, not believing everything you see on both sides. Dr. Carissa Gustafson is a licensed clinical psychologist and is seeing an increase in mental health issues leading up to the election. A lot of people understandably are experiencing anxiety, feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, despair. According to a New York Times and Siena College poll, nearly one in five voters said that politics had hurt their friendships or family relationships. Dr. Gustafson says it's important to separate yourself sometimes and connect with like-minded people to maintain your mental health. It's really hard when our deeply held values and beliefs are in conflict with people that we love and care about. If possible, I know it's hard, especially as we get closer to the election, but try to connect with people about the things that you do share in common. With less than three weeks to go until the election, both the Republican and Democratic parties are continuing to advertise on social media to win over voters. Dr. Gustafson encourages people to stay politically engaged, but remembering to stay disciplined when it comes to social media will help with your mental health. We're just passively consuming this information. We're being overloaded. We're not built to consume information like this. So what I encourage people to do is to establish healthy boundaries with media consumption. A survey done by Forbes Health finds that 60% of respondents said their mental health is slightly or moderately negatively impacted by the upcoming election. Dr. Gustafson says it's okay for feeling anxious about November 5th, but she encourages people to remember one thing. The outcome of the election is out of your control, but not everything is out of your control. Focus on what you can do, even if it's small, on a day-to-day -day basis to take care of yourself. For Netta, not being consumed by election content has been key. Mental health-wise, I feel like a lot of people are not okay, but somehow I'm okay. Like, I just don't let myself absorb any information that I'm getting. Netta plans on staying that way by not being brought down by anything election-related she sees online. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage and click the subscribe button here. You can also download our app and watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues and more. We'll see you then.